Hey guys, so here it is, iOS 17 and developer beta 1 is now officially out. Of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite features so far within iOS 17 developer beta 1. Wow, the wait is finally over after months of waiting for this new software. I wanted to share with you guys some of the latest and best new features in iOS 17. Now, at WWDC, Apple also announced their other software for the iPad. So iPad OS 17 beta 1 is available for the iPad, which which I'll be covering here in the next couple of days, so make sure to subscribe for that. Mac OS 14 and Beta 1 is available for the Mac. Watch OS 10 Beta 1 is available for the Apple Watch, which of course I'll be covering here as well. And TV OS 17 Beta 1 is now available for the Apple TV. Now, to be honest, this software is sort of a small download. It's about three gigabytes of a download for being the first beta, but hopefully this means that Apple is tackling a lot of the bugs and performance improvements here with this one now keep in mind that apple will continue releasing new betas from now until september so a lot of the features may change and apple may add a lot of features before this software is officially available to the general public maybe late september but without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at ios 17 developer beta 1 now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, before we get to iOS 17 developer beta one, Apple also announced brand new hardware today at WWDC. It was a jam packed event. Apple today unveiled a brand new Mac studio and for the first time bringing Apple Silicon to the Mac Pro with the M2 Ultra. There was also a brand new 15 inch MacBook Air that was announced. And of course, the star of the show, which was Apple's VR mixed reality headset, the Apple Vision. If you want to learn more about these products, of course, links will be in the description down below so let's get to ios 17 developer beta 1. okay so of course the first thing i want to talk about is device support now basically three devices that do not support ios 17 as i previously thought it would happen iphone 8 iphone 8 plus and the iphone 10 do not support iOS 17, unfortunately. Every other device that was running iOS 16, aside from those three, do run iOS 17, okay? So are supported. The only three that are not supported are the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10. So let's jump into some of the features. And I want to start off with this beautiful wallpaper. I really like this wallpaper here. I'll link it in the description down below. It is available for you to use if you have iOS 17 here. Let's go into the actual categories here for collections. You see right here under collection, we now have the wallpaper available right there for iOS 17. There is a light and dark mode variant of this wallpaper, which I really, again, really like. Let's go back into the lock screen. I wanted to share with you guys a few options that are now available within the customization part of the lock screen. If we go into customize here, we tap into the clock here. We can now actually change the width of the actual font. As you can see right there, we can make it thinner or heavier just like so. There you go. Something new within the lock screen of iOS 17. Hopefully, within additional betas, we'll see additional options. We were thinking that Apple was going to be announcing a new way to delete these lock screen and sort of arrange them. That could be coming in later software updates. Again, this is just beta 1. A lot of this stuff could change before the official release. So now I want to go ahead and shift my attention over to the phone application because there's a few new things happening here, which I really, really like. And Apple has now added a new contact poster. So basically, for your your own contact here you can go ahead and click edit and he'll go ahead and customize these cards that others will see when you call them if they have an iPhone here so you can click on customize here you can choose a poster you can choose anything from a photo a emoji let's create a brand new one here so let's go ahead and click create a new one here so we have several options we have the camera we have photos emoji etc so I'm gonna go here with emoji let's go ahead and select this emoji right here it'll give us the option to select one of these uh, stickers right here available so click next here and then of course we can go ahead and change the name the color the size of the font and all that good stuff as you can see right there click done and this is what they'll see on the other end when you call someone so basically apple calls this again apple calls it contact posters and you can go ahead and edit these and add these to your iphone right here basically you're editing your contact card on your iphone and other users will see this on their end and now apple has also added a new voicemail feature which allows you to see 
what the other person is saying while they leave a voicemail. So basically live voicemail is what Apple calls it. So if someone calls you from a number that you don't recognize and they're leaving you a voicemail and it turns out that it is important, you can actually see the live transcript of that voicemail as they speak on the other end for you to be able to pick it up or call them back immediately. So basically live voicemail transcripts is what Apple has added here. And another great feature is name drop. This allows you to share your phone number, email with someone. You can simply bring your iPhone up close to someone and choose what information to share instead of having to say your phone number out loud or your email out loud to someone else so that other people can hear. You'll be able to now name drop using AirDrop by connecting two iPhones next to each other basically side by side in order to share this information with others, which I think is a really cool idea. Now for FaceTime, there's also a few updates available within iOS 17, but they're not working as of right now, so I can't demo those. So FaceTime video mail. Basically, if you call someone using FaceTime and they don't answer, you can actually leave a video mail, if you will, to the other person. FaceTime is now also available for the Apple TV and it uses your iPhone's camera as the main camera source to FaceTime using your TV and your iPhone, which I think it's a super cool idea here as well. Now there's also some nice updates to the messages application or the iMessage platform here. So Apple has added a few things here like swipe to reply. So you can reply to a specific thread rather quickly. This is great for group conversations or just to reply quickly to a specific thread. And now Apple has also added read audio messages transcript. So basically if someone sends you an audio message in iMessage, then you can actually see the transcript of that message if you can't actually hear it out loud. So it's a really cool new feature. Apple has also added a brand new menu. So within iOS 16, we have this entire menu at the bottom here. We no longer have that. We now have just one X here and we have the entire menu from the camera, photos, stickers, cache, audio, location. If we click more, Apple has also added a brand new privacy feature, which I really like and safety feature, which is check-in. Check-in allows you to share your location with friends or family members. Members. So let's say you're going somewhere, you have children, your children are going somewhere, they can use this to share their location. And once they arrive to that specific location, the iMessage platform will automatically send you a message letting you know that they arrived at their destination, which is a really cool feature. Again, that's going to be checking under more right there, the new checking option, which I think is a much needed update for the iMessage platform. Now we can also, of course, go into iMessage and do a lot of the stuff we used to do before. So in iMessage, we still have a lot of the new stickers and things things like that, but there's a new entire category devoted to stickers as well. So you can create your very own stickers using your photos within the camera, and you can use your emojis as stickers as well within iOS 17, which is really, really cool. So yeah, some nice features that have been added here to the iMessage platform, which I really, really like. Now, Apple has also updated Siri. So if we go to the Siri options and we go to listening for under the Siri settings here, we have the listening for options. We have the hey, and then the command in order to activate Siri. And then we also have now the option to just say Siri. So we no longer need the word hey in front of the name of the virtual assistant in order to activate uh, on a HomePod or on the iPhone, which is something very interesting. Basically what Amazon has done with Alexa, where you just say Alexa, no longer you'll be required to say the word hey before the name of the virtual assistant in order to activate Siri on your HomePods or your iPhone, which is sort of interesting. Let me know what you think about this move. Now, before we continue, I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors, Case Cool and the Case Cool Magic Stand case. This is my go-to case because of the Magic Stand, the highlighted feature the magic stand is solid it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off i use it every single day to take pictures to carry my iphone around to prop it up for facetime calls to watch youtube videos and landscape the magic stand is definitely the highlight feature here and it is magnetic so if you use magsafe accessories you're not going to go wrong with this case as well so it protects your camera it protects your screen it gives you the magsafe experience and of course the magic stand on top of that it is available in various colors to choose from so go ahead and check out case cool links as always will be in the description down below and thank you to case cool for sponsoring today's video now let's go ahead and shift our attention over to widgets because apple has finally done this interactive widgets are a thing within ios 17 now there's still some progress needs to be done here but apple is slowly adding interactive widgets as you can see right here we have the music platter which will now have the ability to play and pause a song directly from the widget of course it would be nice to also see a scrubber for the volume or the track so that we can go ahead and control that from the home screen if we wish but there is a progress within future betas we may see additional controls here for right now for the music we have play and pause right here under the reminders we have a new checklist thing we can now interact and check things off our reminders list and we 
finally have a home widget here in order to interact with home accessories so if we go into the widgets categories here let's go into the home extension we now have two options for home widgets we have the small and then we also have the medium so again apple could be changing a lot of this stuff before the final release of ios 17 but we see some progress interactive widgets and home screen or home widgets are now available within ios 17 which is something that was needed quite some time ago but apple is now starting to roll this out within ios 17 and i'm super happy to see now last but not least i want to talk about my favorite ios 17 feature and one of the best features in my opinion and that is standby now standby allows you to turn your iphone into a smart display for when you dock it up at night so here it is the settings available we have the standby options is available with always on display of course and then we have the night mode options which allows you to set different temperatures for the clock in order for you to be able to sleep and of course any motion detection can also be enabled here in order for the clock to activate while you're sleeping if you move around or something like that let me show you how this works so again i'm gonna go ahead and prop my iphone here into landscape mode hopefully i can get this to work properly it is in beta keep in mind so i'm gonna prop it up just like so charging and boom it kicks right into action you see that i have the clock here i have the weather as you can see i can swipe to the right it's going to be locked because of face id i'm gonna enter my passcode here and you can see that my pictures do show up here i can also swipe through the pictures and things like that i can also use a clock as a nightstand and i can long press on these uh, particular options here so if i want the clock i can customize the clock to different options available right here as you can see so there's different options available for the clock again one of my favorite features that is still a little bit glitchy but it is right there it is working in ios 17 you can change different things and different elements of these clocks available within the standby feature swipe to the right for the actual photos you can customize this as well as you can see right now i have my favorites and i can swipe again and go ahead and further customize this with widgets as well so we have the smart rotate for widgets so we have several widgets available right here as you can see i have the calendar the weather reminders and so forth even home widgets are available here so i can go ahead and set that as well so once i click done it goes back into to action i can go ahead and change the clock as well so different times and different clocks and calendar options available right here as you can see with this new standby feature which i'm really really loving let me know what you think about ios 17 so far again we're just barely scraping the surface here this is just my initial reactions of ios 17 and some of the best features in my opinion so far let me know what you think about ios 17 in general will you be installing the software on your device and stay tuned for more coverage thank you for watching guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace